There is a fear in the Russian Federation over the possibility of losing the war if Western countries grant Ukraine permission to strike out long-range strikes on military targets deep in the Russian rear. This was reported on the Telegram by the advisor to the head of the presidential office, Mikhailo Podolyak. Podolyak explained what exactly characterizes Russian hysteria, taking into account the possibility of lifting informal bans on strikes with Western weapons on Russian territory. In particular, according to the opinion of the advisor to the head of the presidential office, we are talking firstly about Russian unconditional cowardice. Secondly, according to Podolyak, this speaks of the extremely specific and disgusting ability of the Russians to wage war only on unequal terms according to the principle, we will attack with everything and you must have greater restrictions and follow the rules. Thirdly, we are talking about the absolute fear of Russians of a possible loss and the legal and historical consequences that come with it, he noted. And fourthly, as Podolyak added, we are talking about the increasingly strong unwillingness of Russians to rely on adequacy and realistically assess events. It is important to correctly assess all these components and make a mandatory decision to wage war exclusively within the framework of international law, which means that the territory of the aggressor country must be subjected to destructive systemic strikes that will sharply reduce its military capabilities, Podolyak emphasized. Ukraine is awaiting permission from its Western partners, the US and Great Britain, to use the transferred long-range weapons to strike legitimate targets on Russian territory. The Telegraph believes that giving Kiev the green light for long-range missile strikes would undoubtedly impact the course of the war. The Institute for the Study of War has identified at least 225 potential targets that Ukraine could strike immediately. These include military airfields, training bases, logistics centers, and manufacturing facilities that play a vital role in supporting the Russian war machine. Fighters from the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine from the Kimik Group attacked a Russian military base in Syria. According to a Kiev Post source in military intelligence, the operation took place on the southeastern outskirts of Aleppo. The publication has received relevant footage. Journalists note that at the specified base, Russian troops manufactured and tested attack UAVs. In addition, the attacked base was used by the Russians to manufacture camouflaged improvised explosive devices, the warheads of which were stored at the position that was attacked by the GUR special forces, the article says. The video filmed by the intelligence officer shows Ukrainian military intelligence symbols near the Russian base. Soon after, an explosion occurs at the Russian facility, followed by the detonation of ammunition. The video also shows explosives that were previously planted in the base. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Andrei Yusov, earlier stated that the monopoly in the sphere of bandit activity of Russian private military companies is coming to an end. There are forces that can put these criminals in their place. He refused to confirm information about the involvement of the GUR in the attack on the positions of Russian troops in Syria. We can neither confirm nor deny about Syria. Yes, respected media outlets report and sources report, but the fact remains, someone did attack this Russian base in Syria and there are corresponding consequences of the defeat. Obviously, the aggressor state must bear responsibility for its illegal actions in different parts of the world and war criminals must be punished. Yusuf emphasized, at the end of July, the Kyiv Post received several videos and photos showing the continuation of the special operation of the units of the main intelligence directorate to destroy Russian troops in Syria. According to Kyiv Post's sources in the special service, at the end of July 2024, the chemist group carried out another comprehensive attack on the positions of the occupation forces of the Russian Federation in Syria. This time, the target of the attack was the military equipment of the Russians at the Kuveres airfield they occupied, located east of Aleppo. Ukrainian intelligence says that it is known that this object, among other things, was also used for training and sending foreign mercenaries to war in Ukraine.